Jen Walker is a visually impaired mother of two and lives in Ohio with her family. Every year when I show my students my cane, I always think that they're gonna like just be so shocked by it and confused and I'll get it out and they're just kind of like, okay, so you use that to get around, you know, once lunch. And I always think like, I wish adults could be like that too. Just like, here's what I use, this is why, and moving on. Jen's using her cane while walking on the sidewalk with her family. If I go like this, I don't see my hands. I don't see my hands, I don't see my hands, and then right here I can see them. Using her hands, Jen shows us how her remaining vision is very centralized. Pulling their kids in a red wagon, Jen and her husband walk towards the playground. First thing I did was go on Foundation Finding Blindness, type in retinitis pigmentosa, and it did say, by 40, most people are legally blind. And I remember that was really hard for me, thinking like, okay, I'm 28, I'm just, I'm in the middle of my career, I just had a baby, this is, couldn't happen at a worse time. A shot from above shows Jen and her family making their way into the park. Throughout the years, I received postcards in the mail to go to Foundation Fighting Blindness Columbus Chapter events. And I kept saying, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then once the vision got bad enough, I had said like, okay, let's go to one of these. There's no turning back, there's no denying it anymore. Jen poses with a group of people at the Foundation Fighting Blindness Visions Conference. I met other people with RP for the first time ever, and that was really cool. And it was really neat to see a room full of 100 or so people that were there to support a disease that I had, and I didn't even know these people, and there were so many there. Jen and her family posed for a photo at a Foundation Fighting Blindness event. One of the girls that I talked to, her name was Laura, and she had just been diagnosed um, with RP, and she was very upset because it's such a devastating diagnosis to get, and she was about to get married, um, and she felt a lot better seeing me and that I had children and was still working full time. So I got to be kind of an inspiration to someone else in the chapter. And then I also got to meet some other people that had RP that were older, closer to retirement. And I saw that they were still doing well and getting around and living a full life. So it was neat to see um, that age span across different people with RP. While holding her cane, Jen pushes her daughter on the swing set. We've got some really promising clinical trials and people that are going on, as well as one FDA-approved treatment for a form of RP. A lot of people that I meet, I say, go to the Foundation Fighting Blindness website, and if you feel helpless or hopeless, that is gonna be a place where you can look up all the clinical trials that are going on. Don't quit your job, don't quit your dreams. You can overcome that and it's gonna start by connecting to other people with that disease that you have. And the place that I was able to connect with other people was through the Foundation Fighting Blindness. Visit fightingblindness.org to learn how you can help us shed a light on treatments for blindness.